This is AVICOM. AVICOM stands for Aviation Competition. Teams from all over the states that have aviation or aerospace programs come down and use the facilities here at Patriots Point Flight Academy to demonstrate their knowledge and skills in aviation. Uh, this is a great venue for these kids to be able to come here and do this. It's a great facility for us to be able to administer these kind of assessments. Aviation in itself is, you know, there's a huge shortage of pilots. And this is just the beginning, getting them excited. All these students were brought to us from all over the state. 65 total and 38 of them were competing. We've come here with our learning objectives, which is critical thinking and problem solving. So it's all pencil and paper. Each team got a flight planning kit, which includes a paper map, how it's equivalent of a slide rule. We call them the whiz wheel. So we're not teaching these kids how to fly, but we are teaching them how to plan and execute a flight. Proceed for six minutes. So it's going to be up. So we had professional pilots come in here, brief the students, saying, you've got your hands full. When we revealed that they were going to be flying the Corsair, their eyes just lit up. But then terror set in when they realized what a monster this airplane is and that they would have to handle flying it. The F-4 Corsair is a World War II airplane, probably the hardest aircraft to fly. And the motor on it has so much torque. A hot airplane flies over 400 knots. You know, the great fighter aircraft, about 100 knots faster than the Japanese Zero at the time. So uh, we have uh, some really good images of the kids huddling in their corners and, and coming up with their plan, and they're executing their plan today. It's all going very smoothly, and we're very happy. We organized this event, and in fact, at the beginning of the year, I challenged my kids, and I said, how can we do this? How can we put on a statewide competition? And uh, we started to ask those questions and then seeking those answers. Doug reached out to my boss and he said, hey, you need to talk to this individual about a competition. There's a huge demand for pilots right now. A lot of them have retired and we're looking for a way to bolster students' interest in aviation. Schools in South Carolina are beginning to start some aviation curriculum and it was appropriate for us to conduct an aviation competition across the state. So it is, it's literally taking all of us that are involved in my after school aerospace club. I had to train all of my students the rules and I have judges which are observing the teams, making sure that they don't violate any rules. My upperclassmen are referees who are keeping the eyes on my judges. We've got schedulers who are keeping the whole dance moving. So it's taking a team to pull this off. And that's not to even mention the expertise and the technology here in the Flight Academy with all the support that we have with the hardware and the software from Patriots Point. So the Flight Academy came about in 2013. Uh, with our past experience running large volume of simulators in a networked environment, I knew we could do it. It's an amazing ability that we have to bring this history to life. They can see it in our hangar bay, go out and touch it, smell it, learn about it in our environment, and then go fly it. The rules are very simple. It's the rules that pilots fly by visual flight rules. And that's part of learning that has to take place for private pilots, is to learn all the rules of the road. There's three different categories you work with. A actual flight in the flight sim. The aircraft recognition. A private pilot preparation test. We're graded on the three of those um, to help the combined score of the team. Stay out to 8,500 feet. We're gonna dodge the Gamecock uh, MOA. All right, let's run it up. Um, we're at a solid, uh, 6,300. I definitely think it's a fantastic experience. The participants were treated to some motivation from Medal of Honor recipient General James Livingston. You don't give up the first time. And I understand this thing is a competition today. That was really good to get them excited. Whether they want to be a pilot, a mechanic, air traffic control, there's so many different jobs out there in aviation. They got to stay on board and in all the birthing spaces here. Living on board ship, the way the sailors did back then, it's bringing all of it together. Being on board at ship at night, being able to stand up in the flight deck, see that sun go down over it, it's one of the best views you could ever have. The views, the tours, the experiences are amazing. This is one of the best locations you could have chosen for this event. So the mission has been set up so that really anybody can fly from point A to point B but if you're following the rules, it's not a direct line. There are airspace obstacles in the way, so your team has to come up with a strategy to fly over, under, or around, and that's where the real finesse comes in. Can we cut through here? Oh, I think we can. Going up or going a little higher or a little lower? Go on heading three, four, three. Okay, keep going straight for right now. Oh, wow.
is almost at 90 degrees. It took me a bit to uh, get used to the plane. It was a little nerve wracking. I think that we've done pretty well so far. Our pilot buttered the landing. If our school could win the first ever Abicom, that would be amazing. These kids are coming to win the big prize. They are coming to win the big trophies, but it's not about just arriving first. Who took the least amount of time, who used the least amount of fuel, and who flew without violating any of those rules? That would be the team. Now, there are two other assessments. There's a written test, and there's an aircraft recognition test. It's my job to determine the winner, but I'm going to rely on this giant spreadsheet. Okay, you got 20 minutes uh, after we get these passed up. Let's go. We'll start the timer when everybody gets the test. On your mark, get set, go. So it's time, fuel, and demerits, and all those things are taken into consideration when we determine what the overall winner is. This year, it's $1,000 for flight lessons. To start off the award ceremony, we heard from a panel of aviation professionals. Teaching other people to do it, and all really depends on a couple of things. And there's this fear of missing out. It wasn't one path that went straight down the line. And then we were also addressed by the U.S. Congressman William Timmons from South Carolina. When it comes to aerospace, SC is on the move, and we will soon cement our status as a global leader in yet another critical industry. Thank you to Doug Adamatis and his work at Greenville Technical Charter High School for getting this event off the ground and to all the teams for making a significant investment in your future and the future of the great state of South Carolina. We even heard from South Carolina Superintendent of Education, Ellen Weaver. So I'm so excited to know that the learning that is happening within the four walls of our classroom is now being applied in a really real and practical and exciting way. And just want to say, may the best team win. First ever state champions for simulated flight are Philip Simmons High School. Having the first ever competition on the USS Yorktown. Who can say that they've been on an aircraft carrier? Slept on one, actually. No, I think it's cool because like, not many people get to come here, you know. Great place to have it. And having this whole experience on such an important piece of history um, that we're fortunate to have here in South Carolina. Want it back here if we ever do it again. So I think what Patriots Point brings to the table is this whole historical element. So these kids, when they come on board, they are in the World War II atmosphere. Just really pleased with the way this whole thing has come off, this facility, the historical element that comes into play. Can't think of a better place to have an aviation competition, but Patriots Point Flight Academy.